Not since 1995 has the Ford Mustang offered a 5-liter V8 under its hood. And we all know that 5.0 was really a 4.9. Well, for 2011, the Mustang GT finally gets a legitimate 5-liter V8. And this one cranks out 412 horsepower, or nearly 100 horses more than last year's 4.6-liter GT. And we were already big fans of last year's 315 horsepower GT. How do we like this 412 horsepower version? What do you think? Yes, the 5.0 is back and it's better than ever. Ford rates this 32 valve gem at 412 horsepower and 390 pound feet. Of course, we're not going to take Ford's word for it, so we headed to KN Air Filters in Riverside, California to check power and torque in the dyno. Official numbers? How about 435 horsepower and 404 pound feet? Up next, it was off to the track to put the new Mustang GT to the test. In 0 to 60 acceleration, the GT needed just 4.3 seconds, which, it's worth noting, is two tenths quicker than that of the Chevy Camaro SS, and only two tenths slower than that of the 2010 supercharged Shelby GT500. In the quarter mile, the 5.0 required only 12.8 seconds at 110.8 miles per hour. Our GT was equipped with the optional Brembo brake package, and it did not disappoint. In 60 to zero braking, the 5.0 needed a scant 105 feet. And through our figure eight test, the GT clawed its way to a run of 25.3 seconds at 0.75 G average. Impressive indeed, as was maximum lateral acceleration of 0.94 G. So we just put the all new 5 liter Mustang GT through its paces. And sure enough, it's the quickest Mustang GT we've ever tested. But can it out muscle the Chevy Camaro SS and the Dodge Challenger SRT8? We'll answer that question very soon.